Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way with these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by seven customer support. Don't miss Keys Fan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows Series with RTG 50 and 62% discount from Microsoft Office and bundle with RTG 62. So don't forget to check the description for details. Hello everyone, welcome back again. Today we're diving into a massive new update of the WinLater Glibc version 3. This release brings a ton of exciting features and improvements that take your gaming and emulation experience to the next level. From MIDI support with custom sound fonts to enhanced open XR support and improved game controller compatibility, there's a lot to cover. They've also tackled several bugs, adding crucial fixes and even updating to the latest Wine 9.16. Okay, now simply go to Assets, download and install the package. If you already installed, you can directly update. No need to uninstall the previous version of Glibc. Now install the package. Open, allow permission. It starts to update files. All right, now go to Contents. Here, let's add the latest turnip driver. You can get the driver file from here. Right now, this is the latest turnip driver of revision 4. Go to Assets, download this file that is ended up with .wcp. Now switch to WinLater. Select Content to Turnip. Select the driver file we downloaded. All right, now select Box 64. Here I want to install the latest Box 64 driver. Same go to this site. Here the developer has provided some Box 64 driver files. Currently 0.3.1, this is the latest version. This will improve a lot of performance. And also the fixed file for HN2 phones. If you want a back to old Wine version, you can download Wine 9.2 WCP file. So download the required files you want. Some drivers actually perform good on some phones, it depends. Some drivers will work good on Adreno 600 series, some with Adreno 700 series. Now select box 64. Select the latest file we downloaded. This file is for 8 Gen 2 users. Select Continue. It gets installed. Same if you want to install the previous Wine 9.2 version. Select the file. Now continue in the same way you can install other required driver files from this content section. All right, now go to Settings. Currently, it's installed with latest Wine version. Select the box 64 version. So this is the latest version that we installed on content section. For version 0.3 border or lower, try to use on Wine 9.2. So select the version, set box 64 preset to performance. Here there is a new MIDI sound font, leave it to default. There is a new option of file provider, which is already enabled by default. All right, now save settings. Now get back, add new container. Set resolution based on your device. Select Wine version. Here it shows the Wine 9.2 version, which we installed. Select the turnip driver that we installed the latest driver. Select DXVK. On configuration here, I'll test with 2.4 with async. Select audio driver you want. Select MIDI sound font. And on Wine configuration, same as usual. Select GPU to GTX 1080. Select max video memory. Now go to environment variables. Add new variable to DXVK HUD to display detailed FPS meter. Here, enable FPS, frame times, dev info, and others you want to display on HUD. Go to advanced. Here the RC file is disabled by default. Select startup selection to aggressive. Here, there is a new option for game controller. By default, it's enabled with X input controls. All right, now save the container. Now boot the container. On side, there is a new option to toggle orientation. You can use system in portrait mode or in landscape. Now go to start system tools. Let's check if direct 3D is working. Well, it's fine. Means the things got configured well. Go to wine configuration. Select Windows 10 version. Apply and OK. All right, so I'm going to test the Far Cry 3 in high graphic custom settings on the 720p based on DirectX 11. Here set affinity values to four performance cores.
Anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe to our channel for more tests. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.